Today we talk about whether premium cycling brands are necessary. Hello legends and super legends. Welcome to Velo Harmony. Today's video was uh, basically moved up. It didn't exist in my queue, but based on a comment from one of our new legends, it inspired me to do this because I felt like it was a topic that I needed to kind of get through and then get back to the things that are already in the queue. This is from Mike G, one of our new legends. He says, hello, Mr. VH. I wear Santini, Pearl, LG, Kraft, RH Plus, and Cannondale, to name a few brands. Is Rafa really worth two times the money? Help me understand. And I smiled when I, when I saw that. I replied to uh, Mike G. What I said was, you would have to try it to understand. But other than the top Santini lines, those other brands don't come close to the Rafa Pro Team stuff. And then I said, maybe the less expensive Rafa Core line. And I said, then I compared it to cars. I said, in cars, the LG, for example, would be the Toyota and the Rafa Pro Team would be like the Lexus, you know, and, and that's splitting hairs. But what I really want to cover here is I can't make anybody understand. Uh, I'll start in this manner. You can buy an airplane ticket for coach and it will still get you to your destination. I can buy this, an airplane ticket on the same flight for first class. It will get me to my destination. But it's a matter of how you're going to get there. Those of you who have never flown in first class, you've, you've obviously walked through it getting on a plane. You see the seats are wider. They look plushier. They have more space between the seats. When the person in front of you puts their seat down, it doesn't sit on your lap. You get free drinks, free food, you know, better everything, depending on how long the flight is, especially domestically. But when you're going internationally and you can afford it, that's the way to go. The, the point I'm trying to get to is this. It doesn't need to be explained. It's a matter of whether you want to experience that. I've worn LG. I've worn some Cannondale shorts in the time I've been cycling. I don't own them anymore because I can afford Rafa now. And I make it clear on this channel, like everybody else, I look for deals. I spend the time and energy. I go to their sites periodically to make to check for sales. And so I buy them when they're somewhat discounted. Like even right now, they're having the summer sale. They're marking stuff up to 60, 70 percent. That's the time for those of you on the fence to try it because the price is so close to the other stuff. That's like getting a Lexus at the price of a Toyota Camry or whatever the top Toyota line. So you get to experience the nicer leathers that they put in the Lexus. They're not the same. So it's kind of like saying, are they worth? There's nothing that's worth what they sell them for. Things are sold for what they think the market will bear. And then they start having, that's why they're having sales now. They want to move it because they got more products coming in. That's just the way life is. They put nicer stuff in the premium shorts. An ASO short is not comparable to an LG. Not going to happen. Okay? Even if I took the Rafa short and tried to compare it to the ASOs, the ASOs, they sell them for a little more. I mean, depending on what the comparison, but they're different products. They may be in the same class, but if you want to try them, and say, wow, you know, I've never flown first class before. I've got some extra money. Let me go and experience this. And at least you can say, wow, now I see what other people, you know, experience when they go through first class. Doesn't mean every flight you go on, you're going to buy a first class ticket. But at least you'll know if you've never experienced it. It's hard for someone to explain it to you other than making comparisons like I did for Mike between products. You're not going to get the same materials being put in the lower price stuff that's in the, the higher price stuff. It's not going to be the same. You don't buy an Altegra, Shimano Altegra, thinking that I got the Dura Ace. No, you're not getting the Dura Ace. There's a reason they have the Dura Ace and you guys get my drift. And so I, what I want to stress, it's not necessary, but man, it's nice if you can experience it. It's not for everybody. That's anything in life. You know, it's a matter of a choice you make. If you cannot afford it, you buy what you can afford and you enjoy that. But if you can't afford it, it doesn't mean you will choose to spend the money on that. 
That's another thing. It's nice having those choices. So, you know, um, I hope that he got the, the message from my reply, but I decided to make this video to just stress that, look guys, if I couldn't afford Rafa, yeah, I would probably be riding an LG. But why the hell would I go buy an LG when I can afford Rafa, which is so much better? You know, I rode my Rafa shorts 143 kilometers last weekend. No issues, no fuss. Now, it doesn't mean it was only the short. Your fit makes a difference, especially when it comes to cycling. No expensive short is going to make up for a lousy fit on your bike. Not going to happen. So you need to keep that in mind. But if you can afford it, why not treat yourself? You only live once. What are you keeping the money for? Have you ever seen a Brinks truck behind a casket going to the cemetery? Not going to happen. They don't bury money. As Paul Mooney, the comedian, said, the Egyptians tried to take their money with them. They don't bury you with it. So if you can afford it and you have it, treat yourself. Buy the premium stuff if you have it so that you can at least experience it. You only live one, once. Why are you depriving yourself? Because you're skeptical. They don't call it premium because they're trying to rip you off. There's a reason they invest the money. They, they, they sponsor these pro teams. They get them to try their stuff. They get feedback from these riders that ride more than you or I do. And then they incorporate what they learn from those riders in those shorts. So when I wear my Rafa Pro Team short, it is completely different than the Prewalski you saw me do a video for indoors. I wouldn't wear the Prewalski on a 200 kilometer ride. There was another ride, uh, legend on here that asked about, you know, he read that some shorts at 200 kilometer, the pads didn't hold up or whatever. Yeah, shorts are designed to fill a certain market. It's the same analysis I made. You buy a, a small economy car, you take a long trip in it, it will beat you up more than a luxury vehicle would. So that, that's the best way I can put it. They're not necessary, they're nice to have. If you can afford it, get it because they're worth it, in my opinion, if you can afford it. If you can't afford it, enjoy what you have. But don't think it's the same as the nicer stuff, the nicer jerseys, the nicer shorts. They're better the priced more because of the materials they put in there and because they're trying to make the most on what they have invested in their research and development it doesn't mean that the price in it based on the same profit margin that they do on the smaller one the market doesn't work that way they put a price out there that they think they can sell it for and it may not be a reasonable markup by any means but if they can sell it for that, they sell it for that. So you can get it when it's on sale, just like people get discounts or people use their points to upgrade to first class so they can experience that. So if you want to go through life never experiencing any luxury thing, that's fine. You know, there are people out there, I'm sure those of you in New York that don't own cars. Every now and then you hire a black car to take you to an event and you experience that. It is nice. Doesn't mean you want to go buy a black car. Because you don't need it every day or it's not part, it doesn't fit your life, but you're treating yourself. So I'll summarize by saying, you're a cyclist, you've been riding for a long time. Decide whether you want to save money to get a wheel or an expensive set of carbon wheels or whether you want to spend the money on getting a kit. I believe your kit is 80 plus percent of the drag. Spend the money there first before you invest in wheels because if when you're, you're, you're fit, your kit, and it just happened to run. In that order, your fit first, then your kit. Then you can worry about equipment because when you have the right fit on your bike, you're gonna ride more. When you have the right kit, you're gonna slice through the air. Your fit will give you the position, your kit will make you feel comfortable on the bike, feel good. You know, when you look good, you feel good. That's just the way it is. You know, you put on a nice suit, you walk differently. That's just the way it is. So. Uh, that's all I got to say is treat yourself. Nobody gives a crap. You don't need to justify anything to anybody. If you can't afford it and you got the money, do it. You don't have to. Not all your kids got to be premium, but get a few of those for your, your big rides, okay? So I'm going to stop there and just say get out there and keep getting your case in regardless of what kit you have.